Did you know that according to the Environmental Working Group, only 7% of the 3,000 high volume chemicals used in the US have been tested for safety? That's right, only 7%. And here's another jaw dropper. In the US, there are tens of thousands of chemicals on the market, many of which are understudied and unregulated. These toxins are hiding in places you might never expect. Your candles, air fresheners, perfumes, and even your cleaning products. And children are especially vulnerable to environmental toxins as their toxic load can accumulate far more rapidly than adults. So if you've ever wondered why you're feeling sluggish, why your skin seems irritated, or why you have those occasional headaches, it could be the air you're breathing right now. But don't worry, because today we're not just talking about the problem, we're talking about solutions. Welcome to the Sparkling Life Coach Podcast. Hey, Sparkling One, welcome to another empowering episode of the Sparkling Life Coach Podcast. I'm Dee Diaz, your host, health coach, and guide on this journey to a vibrant, energized life. And as always, I'm here to help you increase the sparkle in your life through holistic health and wellness, nutrition, and the wonderful world of essential oils. Whether you're tuning in on your drive to work, during your morning coffee, or winding down for the evening, I'm so glad you're here today because we're talking about reducing toxicity by editing your space. We're going to uncover how the everyday choices we make, from the products we use to the air we breathe, affects our well being. Now, picture this you've had one of those days. You know the kind. Work was intense, the traffic was a nightmare, and you're finally home in your sacred space. You take a deep breath, hoping to relax, but instead you're met with the harsh smell of chemical cleaners, artificial fragrances, and maybe even that faint lingering scent of air fresheners. Sound familiar? Well, what if I told you that each of those everyday smells is introducing toxins into your body, potentially affecting your health in ways you might not even realize? Yeah, and that's why we're talking about how to reduce toxicity aromatically and why it's so important for our well-being. So take a moment to think about the spaces you live in, your home your car, even your office. These are places you spend most of your time, right? But have you ever thought about what's in those spaces that could be silently impacting your health? I remember when I first started on my wellness journey after receiving a dire diagnosis with a six-month deadline, you know I started doing everything right. Eating organic, exercising, meditating, you name it, I was on it. But what I didn't realize was that my environment was still packed with hidden toxins that were affecting me in ways I couldn't even see. And I'll never forget this one weekend, I went to a class on the topic of green cleaning. Of course, at the time, I had no idea what green cleaning was. But me, yeah, I made sure every weekend my house was clean top to bottom with the most chemically laden products I could find. You know the ones, extra strength this and lemon scented that. Yeah, the more toxic, the better, right? You know those products you have to put on a hazmat suit to work with, full mask, gloves, goggles, right? But in that class, I finally learned that these chemical cleaning products are very harmful to our systems and can cause severe respiratory failure. So think about this. If the products that we're using to combat germs can cause respiratory failure, does that even make sense? No. 
If you have to use gloves and put on a mask when you're cleaning because of the products you're using, then something's wrong with that picture. Let us know if you agree, either by leaving us a message, sending us a text, or sending us an email at podcast at sparklinglifecoach.com. We'd love to hear from you. So anyways, in that class, I also realized why my allergies were out of control, why my skin felt itchy, and why I was exhausted for no clear reason, especially after cleaning my house. Now, originally, I thought I was just allergic to the act of cleaning. But no, that's when I realized what I was doing wrong. That's when it hit me. It wasn't just about what I was eating or drinking. It was about everything I was allowing into my space. And that's when my journey of reducing toxicity truly began. And that's what I hope to share with you today. So let's start with the basics. What is a toxin? And why would we ever allow toxins in our lives? Why would we use products that might harm us? Well, of course we don't mean to. A toxin is any substance that places undue stress on your body. They're sneaky little things hiding in everyday items like cleaning products, plastics, beauty products, and even the air we breathe indoors. A recent study found that indoor air quality can be two to five times more polluted than outdoor air due to chemicals released from household items. Think about that. Your home, your sanctuary, the place where you should feel safe and healthy could be one of the most toxic spaces you occupy. And how about toxic load? We covered this in episode 12, but simply put, toxic load is the sum of all the substances that accumulate in your body over time and the burden they place on your organs. It's like carrying a backpack. If you keep adding rocks to it, eventually it gets too heavy to carry. That's your body with toxins. And just like with a heavy backpack, if your toxic load becomes too much, it can slow you down and impact your health. We're exposed to countless toxins every day from sources we may not even be aware of. Every breath, every bite, every minute under the sun. Whether it's the sunscreen you're using, the cleaning spray you use on your kitchen counter, the fabric softener on your clothes, or the perfume you spritz before heading out. These substances can place undue stress on your body and that stress builds up. And here's something else to think about. Studies show that Americans spend about 90% of their time indoors. That means the air quality inside our homes is incredibly important because it's where we breathe the most. And guess what? That air is often filled with synthetic fragrances and harmful chemicals that can disrupt our hormones, affect our respiratory systems, and even our mental clarity. Crazy, right? If you've been following along in this podcast series, you know we've been covering the different layers of the wellness lifestyle pyramid. So far, we talked about our core foundations, nutrition, digestion, exercise, metabolism, sleep, and stress management. But if you're loading your environment with toxins, it's like pulling out those foundational blocks one by one. Eventually, the pyramid's gonna start to wobble. That's why I love the visual of the wellness lifestyle pyramid. It reminds us that health is holistic. Every piece, every block, every layer in that pyramid matters. And the choices we make daily affect the entire structure. So let's play a game. I want you to mentally walk through your home. Think about your bathroom cabinet, your kitchen sink, your laundry room. How many products do you have that are labeled with the words warning, caution, or keep out of reach of children? 
or they have the number of poison control on the bottle or tube. Those labels are there for a reason. And yet these products are in our homes right next to the things we use every day. In the U.S., the average household contains about 62 toxic chemicals, from phthalates in air fresheners to antibacterial soaps, and we often don't even realize it. Now, you might be thinking, well, they're just small amounts, so what's the big deal? But remember, it's not just about one product, it's about the cumulative effect over time. For instance, many popular air fresheners contain chemicals that can trigger asthma attacks or irritate your skin. That's your body saying, hey, this isn't good for me. So how do you begin to lighten that toxic load? Well, we start by taking control of what we bring into our home, especially when it comes to what we breathe in every day. Now let's talk about editing your space. This is where you get to play detective. We've all been conditioned to believe that products we find on the shelves are safe. But here's a shocking fact. Only 7% of cleaning products adequately disclose their ingredients. A study by the Environmental Working Group found that over 50% of household cleaners contain ingredients that harm our respiratory health. And don't get me started on those air fresheners. Many of them release harmful chemicals like benzene and formaldehyde. So what can you do? Well, we're playing detective now, right? So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to follow the following four steps and take action. First things first, let's talk air quality. Did you know the average adult takes between 18,000 to 30,000 breaths per day. Every single breath matters. So start by opening your windows daily, even if it's just for a few minutes to let fresh air circulate. Now I know some of you may be living in areas where the air outside is actually worse than the air inside, like our dear listeners in California, especially when they're struggling with smog or local forest fires. In fact, the National Park Service once said that the air quality in Great Smoky Mountains National Park has diminished to the point where on some days it can be dangerous for humans to breathe. So imagine the quality of the air in Los Angeles or other large cities around the world. In fact, according to the U.S. News and World Report, nine of the 10 cities with the worst year-round air quality are on the West Coast. Now imagine how vitally important clean air and pure water are, especially if you're battling cancer, heart disease, or any other serious health issue. So in this case, what could you do? Start by swapping out synthetic air fresheners for essential oil diffusers, and then use certified pure tested grade essential oils like eucalyptus, lavender, and lemon. These not only smell amazing, but they can also have purifying properties and they're fantastic for purifying the air. And here's a little insider tip. My favorite essential oil company, doTERRA, has a whole line dedicated to this purpose. It's called the Aroma Essentials Collection, making it easy to keep your space smelling fresh without the harmful chemicals. So let's talk about using essential oils as a natural and aromatic way to detox your home. We've mentioned this before, but it's definitely worth repeating. Certified pure, tested grade essential oils are not just trendy. They're powerful tools that can help clean the air you breathe, uplift your mood, and support your body's natural detoxification processes. They contain natural compounds that have been shown to help neutralize airborne toxins and at the same time support your respiratory health. I remember when I first switched to using essential oils in my home. Wow, what a difference. 
my go-to was an on-guard protective blend. Because after my diagnosis, I was looking to support my immune system. And I also love their Serenity Restful Blend in the bedroom at night because it makes me feel so calm and relaxed, especially after a stressful day. But then as I learned more, I started incorporating other essential oils like peppermint to help with focus and lemon for an energizing, fresh, clean scent. I swapped my bathroom air freshener for doTERRA's Purify Cleansing Blend, which was designed to cleanse and freshen the air naturally. It's a mix of lemon, Siberian fir, citronella, lime, tea tree, and cilantro all in one blend. And the difference was immediate. Not only did my home smell better, but I also noticed that my seasonal sniffles were less frequent. And that's not just a fluke. Studies show that certain essential oils can support your immune system, making your body more resilient to the environmental stressors around you. Now, I've mentioned this before, but it's such an important point. Quality matters. So we want to make sure to choose the right essential oils because not all essential oils are created equal. So I'd like to encourage you to pursue what's pure. The purity of an essential oil is its most important characteristic because it affects its safety, its effectiveness, and its potency. Unfortunately, the essential oil industry is filled with products that are adulterated and diluted. This is why I trust and choose to partner with doTERRA. The doTERRA difference is that they go the extra mile to ensure their oils are tested, pure, and free of contamination. Their commitment to purity means that every essential oil and product undergoes rigorous third-party testing to ensure they're free of synthetic additives and contaminants. This is crucial because when you're using essential oils to help reduce toxins, the last thing you want is to introduce more toxins through impure products, right? I also choose to be an affiliate with doTERRA because they care about sourcing their essential oils responsibly. And they work directly with farmers, ensuring ethical practices and fair wages. You see, it's not just about reducing toxicity. It's about choosing products that uplift not only our health, but also the communities that make them possible. This aligns beautifully with our team values here at Sparkling Life Nutrition and Health Coaching. So step one is to make an aromatic detox and focus on the air quality in your home, office, and even your vehicle. For step two, I'm going to strongly encourage you to rethink your cleaning products. So let's tackle your cleaning cabinet. Many of us think that a clean home smells like bleach or pine, right? Yep, that was definitely me. But these scents often come with a heavy toxic load. What we want instead are non-toxic alternatives that are just as effective, if not more so, than conventional cleaners. That's why I love using doTERRA's OnGuard cleaning products and the products from their Abode line. For instance, their Abode surface cleaner is a concentrated formula, meaning you're not just reducing toxins, but you're also minimizing waste by reusing glass spray bottles. I also love using the OnGuard Cleaner Concentrate. This one is great, especially if you're on a tight budget, because one bottle of this cleaner concentrate makes about 18 16 ounce bottles of a multi purpose spray. It's going to cost you less than anything you'll find at the dollar store, and it'll certainly be much better for your health. If you're watching the podcast on YouTube, be sure to take a screenshot of this slide so you have the recipes for 10 ways to use the OnGuard cleaner. For example, you can use it to clean your makeup brushes, as a floor cleaner, 
It's safe enough to clean your children's toys. It's great for cleaning the bathroom and the toilet. It's great for dishes, the stovetop, and so on. Or you can even DIY your own cleaning products. If you're listening to the audio, no worries. I'll make sure to leave the link in the show notes to a free ebook that will include the recipes for the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate and also some additional do-it-yourself recipes I think you'll love. And if you'd like to learn more about green cleaning, please let me know and we can make that a future dedicated episode. What's so great about rethinking and editing your cleaning products is that it's small changes like this that can add up to lightening your toxic load. For step three, we're going to swap out your plastics. Have you ever noticed that weird plastic smell from your lunchbox or water bottle? That's often due to chemicals like BPA or phthalates that can leach into your food and drink. What are BPAs? According to earth.org, bisphenol A or BPA, the chemical additive used to give plastic certain qualities, like making it more durable, has been eliminated from many water bottles, food containers, and children's toys. And so you've probably noticed that a lot of plastic items on today's supermarket shelves proudly display a BPA-free label, which might make some people think that these are safe alternatives. However, the challenge is that other plasticizers called phthalates are still used to give plastic certain qualities. And scientists think these are also harmful to the human body. The diethylhexyl phthalate DEHP, added to many plastics to make them flexible, was high on the toxicity list. The group found that DEHP interferes with cell division in several ways, possibly affecting fertility, causing defects during egg formation and early embryonic development. It shows up in our blood and in our tissues. It's been linked to interfering with the cellular functions of liver cells, perhaps causing liver cancer. And especially when it's used long-term, the outcomes could be dangerous. Where can they be found? Water bottles, plastic boxes, utensils, and wrappers, especially those used to store our food when we do takeout from fast food restaurants. The CDC found that women are more exposed to phthalates because some of them are used in soaps, body washes, shampoos, and cosmetics. We'll talk more about this shortly. But think about that. Studies suggest that over 90% of us have measurable levels of BPA in our bodies. Scary, right? So let's start swapping out those plastic containers for glass, stainless steel, or silicone options. Not only do these alternatives reduce your exposure to harmful chemicals, but they're also more durable and better for the planet. For step four, let's talk about personal care products. From shampoos to deodorants, Our daily routines can be loaded with toxins that absorb directly into our skin, which is the body's largest organ. So look for products with minimal ingredients, or better yet, make your own. Do-it-yourself recipes with essential oils can be fun and incredibly satisfying. I've made deodorant, body butters, lip balm, soap, and more with natural ingredients, including doTERRA's CPTG essential oils, which add the perfect touch of scent and nourishment. Now, this is such an important topic and a much larger one. So our next episode is dedicated to a deep dive into personal care products and the toxic products in the marketplace. Because as I mentioned, there are so many toxic ingredients in soaps, toothpaste, body washes, shampoos, cosmetics, and personal care product. 
So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Sparkling Life Coach Podcast so you're notified when we drop the next episode in this wellness lifestyle series. So wouldn't you agree? It's time to say goodbye to toxins and hello to nature. The good news is your body is designed to protect you. It has built-in systems like the mucous membranes in your nose, your liver, and your kidneys, which work tirelessly to filter out toxins. But they can only do so much, especially when we keep piling on the burden. Imagine a sponge. It can only soak up so much before it starts leaking. That's your body when you overload it with toxins. Reducing toxicity isn't necessarily about going on a drastic detox or throwing everything away at once. If you're able to, great. But if not, no worries. It's about making small, intentional changes that add up over time. For example, swapping out that synthetic air freshener, plug-in, or candle for a diffuser with a clean, uplifting, certified pure, tested grade essential oil. You'd be amazed at the difference this one simple change can make. Not just in how your home smells, but in how you feel. So, if today's episode resonated with you, I'd love for you to take action. Start by checking the labels of the products you and your family use every day. And then decide if they belong around your home or in the trash. And don't forget to click the link in the show notes. Download the free ebook on reducing toxicity and start making small but impactful changes today. I hope you'll let us know in the chat or via text or email what's the first thing you're aiming to change. And if you're ready to take it a step further and you'd like to try any of the products mentioned in this episode, I'll leave my affiliate link in the show notes that will unlock 25% off your order as well as give you access to Sparkling Life Tribe's community support. Let's lighten that toxic load together and create spaces that truly sparkle. As we wrap up today's episode, I want to leave you with this. Reducing your toxic load is not about achieving perfection. It's about progress. The goal isn't to eliminate every single toxin. That would be impossible, right? Instead, the goal is to reduce the overall burden so your body can function at its best. It's about taking one step at a time, making mindful choices, and understanding that you have the power to control what enters your space. You have the power to make small, manageable changes that will have a big impact on your health and your family's well-being. Editing your environment is a beautiful act of self-care that pays off in countless ways, from improved energy and mood to long-term health benefits. So take a look around your home and identify at least one area you can start with today. Remember, it's not about doing everything at once, it's about taking that first step. And if you're ready to go deeper, Check out the resources I've left for you in the show notes or reach out to me directly at podcast at sparklinglifecoach.com. I'd love to guide you on this journey to a healthier, more vibrant and sparkling life. And don't forget to subscribe and share this episode with anyone who could use a little less toxicity in their life. Or better yet, why not text them a link to the episode today? so they can join you in saying goodbye to toxins and hello to nature. Thanks bunches for tuning in to the Sparkling Life Coach Podcast. Until next time, sparkle on and don't forget to sprinkle a little sparkle everywhere you go. Ciao. Hey, my name is Lauren Bush. I am the mom of nine amazing kids. And when my daughter Chloe was nine months old, 
she was diagnosed with a really scary respiratory issue. I thought at the time, because of the diagnosis, because of my medical background as a medical ICU nurse, that this was definitely something we could handle and that we would get some solutions figured out really quickly. And that just wasn't the case. In fact, our life just got full of more questions and more unknowns. I felt hopeless. I felt uh, weak as a mom. I felt like I didn't have the tools in front of me to be able to do anything to be able to help her. Luckily, I finally decided to try essential oils and it did take a while. My ego was definitely a block for being open to, to natural options. I thought being in the medical field, I had heard of everything. I would have known if there was any other solutions out there. In fact, it took me about three years to finally say, yes, I'm, I'm open to trying essential oils. And our very first experience with essential oils was life-changing. I, I fell in love with them instantly. In fact, we found that a lot of the cleaners and products that I was using to make my house feel and smell like home were the root cause for my daughter's health issues. And what really kind of surprised me was that no one in the medical field had ever asked me, are, are you spraying this? Are you, do you have you know, synthetic fragrances around your home? No, no one had made that link to what we were using in our home, to what might have been exacerbating her, her health issues. And then doTERRA just met the need once again, not only in what we could do to support ourselves physically with the essential oils, but we learned to DIY, which saved our family a lot of money, which was amazing. It was a fun project to be able to do with our kids. So by switching over these fragrances that we, the synthetic fragrances that we would have been using, and now we utilize essential oils instead, we're not only reducing our toxic load, but we're getting all the beautiful benefits of essential oils and their physical and emotional benefits. As a busy mom, I need things to multitask themselves and I need things to be as simple as possible. So when I utilize the Aroma Essentials kit, I'm able to have all the oils that I wanna be diffusing anyways. I get to have a beautiful diffuser. And so anytime I'm talking to any other mom and I'm like, listen, let's re reduce the toxic load in your house. Let's get rid of fragrances first. It's such an easy area to focus on. Being able to bring this kit into their home, they instantly have a diffuser. They've got 10 amazing oils to choose from. All oils that I would suggest a mom have in their home anyways to make their house feel and smell delicious right and all the health benefits that, that a mom would want to be able to calm the kids wake the kids up as a mom that's life-changing which brought me to doTERRA because I was like now every mom has to know about this like I, I can't be selfish if, if this works so great for my child then then everybody has to know